I just came back from a four day trip to Hamburg so I figured I could show you what's in my travel toiletry bag uh, so you can have an idea of what more or less I always bring with me on my travels no matter how long they are or wherever I'm going to and also what I use on a daily basis because this is literally the toiletry bag that sits in my bathroom every single day and I had this for two years now. I never really traveled with this toiletry bag but uh, instead of traveling with a bajillion mini pouches I just figured it would be much easier for me to remove eventually the things that I won't be needing for my travel and just grab this and I'm good to go. Uh, it's not very minimal as you can see but I like to be prepared when it comes to toiletries. I can ditch a couple of tops or a pair of shoes but uh, toiletries I like to have them so in this front pocket I keep an extra handkerchief I have another one that normally is in my day bag or in my purse so I have an extra one here in this second pocket it's where I keep my makeup I don't own a very big makeup collection in the first place but usually when I travel I like to stick to the bare essentials and things that normally don't require a lot of effort so I don't or very rarely bring with me uh, my eyeshadows, my little mini eyeshadow palette and the brushes uh, but I just stick to the essentials and in this case my essentials are mascara, BB cream, uh, this is a lip to cheek tint from 100% pure so I can use it as a blush and as a tinted uh, lip balm lip liner, pencil sharpener, and two very ugly looking but proudly self-made reusable cotton rounds. Moving on to the bigger compartment, here is where I keep everything else and of course if I'm traveling by plane I just put the liquids into the little transparent bag. I got a travel size contact lenses solution, bamboo toothbrush, I have a plastic on it. Uh, it's the only thing that I have now to protect it so it works just fine and I will keep on using this plastic cover until I find something better or until this one breaks. Here I just transferred some uh, hemp seed oil which is what I currently use as a facial moisturizer. My vitamins. This is uh, apple cider vinegar that I normally use mixed with water and use as conditioner after I shampoo. DIY mouthwash. I got here uh, reusable menstrual products. Of course if I know that I won't be having my period during my travel I don't even bring these but I got a couple of reusable menstrual pads and my menstrual cuff. Contact lenses case and a pair of extra contacts. A comb. DIY deodorant. Toothpaste tabs. And in this little pouch, separated from everything else, is where I keep my shower products. So I got a bar of soap that I use as a face and body wash. As soon as I will use this up, I'm going to switch to Dr. Bronner's multi-purpose soap because I figured that this will work, especially when traveling, this will work as a face and body wash and uh, I can also use it if I need to hand wash some of my clothes, it will get the work done. And then in this pouch, I also have my solid shampoo and I tend to keep these always in this little pouch so they're nice and separated from everything else, especially if they're wet uh, and I need to pack right away. I can just put them in the pouch and not worry about the other things. And then in this little back pocket here, I got some random loose things just like a neck, just like a glass nail file, hair tie and two bobby pins. This is an old mascara brush that I use to come through my eyebrows and especially through my lashes before applying mascara. I don't know if it's just me, but I find that doing this step makes the application easier. Um, nail clippers and a pair of tweezers. And this is literally it. This is what the bag looks like when it's empty. It's uh, actually very lightweight, um, but very durable. There's You can fit a lot, as you can see, in this with room to spare. And it's easy to wash. It's, uh, yeah, I really like it. As you might have seen, there's a couple of things missing in my travel toiletry bag. Uh, when it comes to body moisturizer and eventually body scrub, if I'm traveling for a short period of time, I don't even worry about 
bring in those with me and um, yeah, I'll just do without. If I'm traveling for a longer period of time though, um, I just use whatever the pantry or the local supermarket at my destination offers me. So some olive oil under the shower will get the job done as a body moisturizer and eventually as a body scrub I can just make my own using some pantry ingredients just like coffee, sugar or oil. These are things that normally we buy whenever we go somewhere and we are staying at our Airbnb or we can easily find already in our pantry. Um, when it comes to shaving, as you might have seen, I don't have any travel friendly, sustainable shaving tools. That is because usually when I'm home, I have been using for quite a long time this electric epilator that comes with its uh, big bulky cord. I'm not gonna show you that. Um, I had it for almost 12 years now and this works very fine. It's a little bit painful, but it works very good. But of course I don't travel with this because it's a little bit of a hassle to bring. Um, so whenever I'm traveling, if I'm traveling for short, I just shave before my travel, so I don't have to bring anything with me. But if I'm traveling for longer period of time and I know that I would need eventually to shave during my trip, I still rely very sadly on disposable tools, just like a disposable razor or those waxing strips. I know those are really, really bad, but one of my goals for the year is to switch to a travel-friendly, sustainable shaving tool. So probably I'll go with a safety razor. Uh, yeah, so still don't have it, but that's a work in progress. So uh, that's literally everything that it's in my travel toiletry bag. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel if you still haven't. Links to my Instagram and my blog are always in the description box below if you want to check them out. So yeah, um, I wish you a very lovely day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.